Hello, Breeder Brigade and YouTube, and welcome to another fantastic, epic, beautiful, I don't know where I was going with that, <laughs> awesome siege here. This is going to be a 2v2 on Torle Ferdum, or Tolly Ferdum, for those that uh, don't speak weird, crazy guy like me. <coughs> but yeah, anyway, so for her, first off, let's get some uh, commanders, huh? We're going to have, first off, Lusitowne, led by J. Matt in 55, who is the one and only person who sent this battle replay in. Thank you so much for sending it in. And if anybody else would like to send in battle replays to me, definitely feel free to do so. Go to my Discord, which will be down in the description down below. And go to the, my replay folder and send them on right on in. And I can put your battle on YouTube and make you famous. Yeah. I don't know about that, but, but yeah, I'll put it on YouTube for you. And uh, yeah, so next we're going to have Swaby here. It's going to be led by Coochie Destroyer. Mm-hmm. Very, very lovely, lovely name there. <laughs> All right. Then now for the attackers, we're going to have Arverni. who's going to be led by No Hacks, Just Better. I guess we will see. We shall see. Then we're going to have Galatia here. It's going to be led by Blue Dolphina. All right. So yeah, we just have the typical siege towers moving up and what have you. Ooh. Ooh, this isn't typical. We have some Skatari cavalry. Forward! Coming out to say hello. Well, as we as we watch everything move up and, and whatnot. I would like to say, if you guys love some Total War, and I would assume that you do, because you're clicking on my video, then check out the other Backseat Generals, who is going to be Joannet, Ellington, and Gormilnir. If you have not yet checked out their channels, I definitely recommend doing so. It, we will cover all your Total War needs and, and give you some tips and stuff as you go along. But yeah, those guys will be down in the description down below. Go check out their channels. If you have not yet checked out their channels, as I said before. Yeah, Sea Towers slow lumbering moving up, but it is a little bit of a shorter, I mean, not, I guess not shorter, but not like a crazy, crazy, super long one. So it's 30 minutes, you know, maybe you should make sure you get your snacks, sit back, relax, and enjoy this beautiful battle. Because we have some serious troops here. Lots of club levies, lots of club levies, triple gold chevron. Club levies. I'm kind of excited to see how these freaking guys do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. They are club levies, though, but you never know, okay? Looks like he brought a lot of them. Okay, he brought. A okay. Okay. A lot of them. But that's. I mean, he brought a couple spear walls here, and then, you know, his longbow hunters. But for the most part, it's just those. Club Levy triple gold chevron boys here. So Club Levy spam. We'll see how we'll see how uh, Coochie Destroyer does with that those Club Levies. Come on, let's get to the walls now, guys. I want to get this battle started. Uh, are they trying to destroy the wall here? I would assume so because they're firing it with one, I'm trying to save and preserve ammo. Which isn't which is not a half bad idea, breaking down this wall section. Don't you don't typically see that. I mean, I mean sometimes you'll see, you know, a broken down over here, but obviously you can see that there's a million siege towers here. So, right down the middle, not a, not a terrible idea. I like that. It's good stuff. Okay, so we do have the Skatari cavalry moving in. These guys over here saw it very quickly. Very nice. So the Skatari is gonna fall back smart move because these guys have javelins and they can really do some damage to that Skatari cavalry which is the medium calf it only has 55 armor which is not terrible but it isn't you know crazy crazy armor like you know 70 or something like that but or like crap cataphract that'd be fun 
the Iberians, they don't like a whole lot of armor, so these guys are going to have some lighter armor. The veteran shield warriors have 30 armor. I think they're, what is it, the Lusonic nobles have, they have 45, so that's not terrible. Not terrible, but very light, light armor troops. A lot of these guys, so yeah, all the club levies here are going to have light armor as well, so yeah. Let's go ahead and watch some javelins fly east. Holy f Wow! Jesus! My god. <laughs> that is indeed what the gods have in store for you. And you're gonna meet them really soon because... There's a million javelins flying at you right now. That guy had like 12 javelins in his shield. Jeez. See how they're doing over here? Already going in. More javelins. Stuff. I love it. Let's go, boys. Right up to four kills, down to 134 men, though. Ay. Ugh. They're not going to hold up very much against those veteran you know, the, or the legions, legionaries. We do have some Iberian slingers, though, starting to shoot right at the sides of these chosen swordsmen. Still shooting the wall here. It looks like they landed. Did they? No. Sorry. It was over here, I thought. I don't remember where the hell were they shooting at. Oh, right there they landed. There, okay. Kind of seems like a wasted ammo to me, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. All right. So, uh, Blerics. Oh my. Nice. Right into those veteran shield warriors as they run. Trying to get to the front lines here. How are these club levies? Oh, it's 55 kills for that one. Nice. 19 for this one. 29 for that one. Hasn't been lost a single guy yet. These Celtic Warriors getting whittled down slowly but surely here. Looks like we, ooh, we have another siege tower here. That's that one that was getting kind of harassed by this Qatari calf. It's going to land up here. These Iberian swordsmen are going to just shred. I get, we, we got to watch it. I mean, we have to, right? Like, we can't not. Watch the javelins fly. Get running, warriors! Stop! Yeah! Warriors, stop! That had to hurt. That had to hurt. Get running! Oh boy! That just looks painful. <laughs> So many ways. Okay, so all these all these club levies is going in, just going in. This one wavering already. 41 kills, 15, 27. Bet whoa, whoa! Galatian legionary is wavering with 100, 130 men. Did I just see that correctly? I I might be losing my mind, but I thought I saw something wavering. Okay, how we doing over here? Archers, 32, 20, and 30. Not too shabby. I like this defensive wall here. Defensive, defensive wall. Defensive shield. Defensive formation. There you go. For if anything does come out this way and come over here and attack them. You know, because they can come out this gate, go over here and just go all over the place, kill all these archers. That would not be a good day. So, yeah, I like it. Good stuff. Because there is a cavalry over here, so you never know. You never know. So, okay. These these club levies. Throwing some more javelins. Ooh, my, my. Alaric Slingers shooting at these legionaries. Ooh, we do have some more old Gallic Hunters here. Starting to open fire onto those Slingers, though. <coughs> Excuse me. Veteran Shield Warriors pressing over here, but it looks like there is some... Oh, ooh. 
Osworn and more Osworn and some chosen swordsmen. Moving up here, gonna probably try to climb up these siege towers. And just start opening up another front here. But yeah, they gotta be careful here. Mission Shield Warriors. Where did those other club levy go? I think they might have moved over to try to reinforce over here. Try to break off all these Galatian legionaries. How are these? Do these longbow hunters open up? Whoa. Triple gold chevron longbow hunters? Okay. It's getting a little ridiculous with all the chevrons over here. Stop now. So honestly, anything past, like, Lose. I mean, anything past probably a bronze, maybe even two bronze chevrons on an archer unit is anything past that's not worth it you're just throwing away money now i would i would have well i mean you, you, you got a lot of club levies so i mean you probably had a lot of money to spend so you figured why not but uh i, I would have gone for maybe some sword masters or something maybe i don't know but you you were just probably trying to challenge here so i mean but yeah <laughs> Just a tip for those guys in the future that aren't aren't doing a meme army. You know, they were trying to do a regular legit army. You don't want to do anything over like a like a double a double bronze because it's not even gonna it's not even gonna rank up any damage or range or anything like that. It's just gonna rank up your your melee attack shots. I mean, shots per minute, but that's that's like one more than than what it was. It was at five before, and that will go up to six. At like a double bronze chevron so everything else is just a waste of money if you're doing a legit army i know you're doing your, your club levy spam so i do understand why you spend all this money on the on the chevrons so but yeah like i said that was just a tip for for people in the future but triple gold chevron sword masters up to 62 melee attack holy cow imagine a triple gold chevron osworn that that I would love to see how bad that that or like how amazing that unit does like that would be a sight to see Osworn are arguably one of the best one of the best if not the best infantry in the game and a triple gold chevron one just scares the shit out of me just thinking of it so I kind of want to try it I might have to <laughs> I might have to try that oh my yeah, these club levy are just going to get shredded. They're getting some nice skills, though. 104 with that one. 98 with that one. Nice, but it might come down to some Lusitani here. Doing, doing, pulling some, pulling some tricks out of their hats against these Glacial Engineers. But, I mean, they're doing, oh my god. That, those guys used to have about 50 guys in it about 20 seconds ago, and now they're gone. They're, they're, they're no more. They're no longer with us. And that's pretty much all the infantry that Swaby, Swaby had. They're, all their infantry is gone. Ouch. Balance of power is in favor of the attackers ever so slightly. Just a smidge. Smidge. This Chosen Swordsman is still alive. Down to only 20 men. And it's got 45 kills. Not too shabby. It might be a second unit. They might have put up another unit there. But now we have some... Some chosen swords and O Sworn over here going in. So yeah, these guys are just disgusting. They're so crazy. I just did a battle replay right before this one that it had over 400 kills. I think it was almost it was 500 kills on an O Sworn. Regular, just a regular O Sworn. Just imagine a triple gold Fevron O Sworn. That that's just that's scary. Wow, Galatian Engineering, 212 kills there on that guy. Not too shabby. Okay, these guys just kind of moving in, more and more troops. They still have... No, I think all their Legionaries are in. So, okay, so Swaby took a lot of a beating there, and then Galatia took a pretty good beating there. So that's why it's so, I mean, sort of even. So that's good. But Swaby still has some troops left, like these Longbow Hunters. I can really start racking up some kills. Longbow Hunters are deadly. At their their closer range, but they have a lot of missile damage, a lot of missile damage. With 40, 40 missile damage, those they do some work. 
Alright, so Lusitani Nobles are going to get thrown up to the front here. These guys are also a pretty, very, like, they're a pretty good unit, too. They're an elite unit. So, we'll see how they do. I can see Zosworn. Lots of, lots of troops are getting over here. Looks like we do have some Osworn trying to get, get around over here onto these Lusitani Nobles. Try to probably get around the flank. Iberian Slingers, hopefully they're out of ammo. 106 kills, though. Russian shield warriors over here. Yeah, they're 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 definitely trying to push through into the settlement. Okay, yeah, let's see where we're at for time. 15 minutes. All right, good stuff. But yeah, so at this moment, I would like to say if you guys are enjoying it, I hope you're enjoying it. Make sure to hit that like button. Just smash it with all your might. Just boom, hit it. Ooh, let's check it out. Hit hit that like button. Then also, if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate it if you do hit that sub button and join the bearded brigade the uh the bearded army the bearded warriors and this guitar cavalry is just murdering this archers i had to, i had to kind of interrupt and <laughs> just look at that 105 kills and they're gonna get out and probably survive that with decent numbers ish maybe 57 55 52, 51, 51, nice, that's pretty, that's, that's a good trade, that was a good trade, but yeah, so if you guys could, please hit that subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate it, you know, we've been really growing a lot, and then we're up to 310 right now, which is just amazing to me, like, that's just crazy, you know, just from, you know, the six months ago that I started this, to now, like, it's, it's just... It's incredible. I couldn't do it without you guys, and I just want to say, you know, just thank you. Just just right off the bat. I mean, I guess not right off the bat. 15 minutes off the bat. <laughs> just thank you for everything. You guys, you know, you guys are just always showing my all the support by watching my videos and just hitting the like buttons and, and just, just showing up to my live streams. It's awesome. I love interacting with all you guys and answering questions and, and just giving you guys amazing content to watch I, I know you guys love total war and that's why i do this like i love total war and i just like to share with you guys my love for the game and give tips and and help you guys out and and just enjoy the game together that's just that's why i do this so but yeah that's just kind of a little extended like and subscribe you know uh call to action or whatever you want to call it <laughs> whatever you want to call it um just, I just, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks. So yeah, let's get, holy shit, 270 kills on the Slinger unit? Sorry, that just, wow, okay, 270 kills, that's not, that's not bad at all. <laughs> okay, so this side, you know, they're, they're, it's, uh, I mean, looking pretty good-ish, you know. But it is a lot of Osworn over here, so that's, uh, that's just... It'll be interesting to see how they pull this off. But yeah, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good here. Because these guys could all come through over here and just get into all that. So hopefully, these is the Tony Nobles, which are already up to 100 or 70 kills, down to 122. And maybe hold the line here and allow, allow the troops over here to continue fighting. But if not, maybe think about falling back some of these troops. I mean, you got some pretty good stuff over here. Wow. 240 kills on this Lusitani Noble. Are you serious? That's incredible. That is... That's really good. <laughs> Excuse me. We do have some Longbow Hunters starting to open fire. These Celtic Slingers here. These guys, just, just a massive, massive missile, missile battle going on over here. I love it. I love missile battles, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a sucker for missiles in this game. As you can see, like I did those I had to I had to watch the javelins. I had to. I had to watch the javelins and now just the missile's even better. And they're just starting to shoot to shoot over this little little I don't know what the hell you would call that. Little building, I guess. I guess you would call it a building. But but yeah. Oh my. This longbow hunter, what is it doing? Why is it going that way? What is, why did it only get 38 kills and it just... Oh my gosh. That was a lot of arrows that was just wasted. Pelt, 
or rocks too. Or rocks. Ooh, artillery. Almost to the spear wall. Ooh, almost to the slingers too. <laughs> wow, these guys. Amazing kills. 200 and 270. 207, 270. That's great. That's, that's. Ooh. I like that too. Look at this. These guys are all hidden up here. And it's like a little little peninsula and it's got an arrow tower that's cool I've never seen someone do that I might have to start doing that I like that that's cool because like normally people will go over here and hide they'll go over here and hide over here but that actually gives these guys a good angle to shoot over that and shoot whatever is over here so that way they're over here they don't get a very good angle because they're gonna be sitting over here trying to shoot over this way and they're going to be f shooting the fronts of, of the units and stuff. So that's cool. I like that. I like that a lot. You know, it may seem like a small thing, but that's that's pretty cool. I like that. I know I've said that a million times now. So we're moving on. Let's go ahead and get some close-ups here. I haven't actually gotten a, a whole lot of close-ups. So, uh, good stuff. Wow, only 11 minutes left in this fight already. Okay, so it looks like they're just, they were just going to bypass all this stuff over here, but I don't think they might have they, they even saw that these guys were up here because they have the little eyeballs on their head so they couldn't see them. It looks like this guy's trying to draw them in. Maybe. So then this other longbow hunter can probably shoot at them, but man, they're taking some damage. From these mercenary senior archers. Man, 315 kills for that Balearic Slinger from Lusitani. That's that is crazy. That's a lot of kills. That they that's 300 for that one. What was it? 270 for the other one. And like two 207 for another one. Unless this is the same one, I don't know. That was at like 270, and it's just getting some more crazy kills. Could be. You never know. Are these longbows out of ammo? Yeah, they are. Now the archers are going to go into battle. Are these archers out of ammo? No, they, they're definitely not out of ammo. Only six kills, so... Okay, so... Oh my, there's, 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 they don't have a whole lot left. Like, honestly, they don't really have a whole lot left. 320 kills for a Lusitani Noble. And it's got 30 men left. This Lusitani Noble, 244, 214. That's just, jeez. Okay, so this little Eric Slinger is starting to open up fire onto these guys. O Sworn here. Warriors, only got like one kill from that and hopefully they can pull this you know do something crazy here they're gonna need it if these if these archers these longbow hunters can get some kills that would be that'd be really good to turn this fight around because it's not it's not looking too good uh, I think I've said that a couple times now, but they are definitely falling back here. Are these out of ammo? I still see bows out. I 
That's out of ammo. Our artillery opening up over here. Maybe general, swordmaster. Ooh, that's a swordmaster. That's gonna do some damage. Ooh, we have a spear wall coming out now. They don't have a whole lot of unit, like infantry, infantry over here. Ooh, if that swordmaster, okay, the swordmaster is going too. They could, they could turn this around, and that's that's five units that they could take out right here. That that's the rest. No, that's not the rest of Galatia. They have a noble horse. They dismounted their noble horse, general. I guess this Galatian Legionaries are charging in with those archers. Okay, Swordmasters coming up. Longbow Hunters right there. Hope that they can shoot those archers. Swordmasters just, oh man, these guys are going to demolish this infantry here. Longbow Hunters starting to open up onto these guys. These, I don't know how long these Longbow Hunters will survive though. If they don't shoot, if they try to just shoot at the infantry though, they should survive. But if they shoot the Longbow Hunters, I don't know if they can handle the two mercenary Syrian archers. Except this one's out of ammo. Yeah, that one is out of ammo. It's charging. Oh my goodness. That was a huge volley from that Swordmaster there. Already up to 130 kills, only losing three men. Three men. And it's already at 130 kills. 140 now. Now losing four men. My gosh. Okay. That's a huge turnaround. Sort of. I mean, okay, these Lusitanian nobles are really going to have to really turn this around. And this slinger still has ammo. Still has ammo. So hopefully they can get some kills too. But they're... they're these guys are going to have a, a battle ahead of them. That's for sure. Okay, Swordmaster is now surrounding these mercenary Syrian archers. They're already... Archer, archer, already... Blah, 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 blah. Syrian archers already wavering. There we go. 49 men left. Not going to last too much longer. There they go. Wow. Swordmaster is up to 100, 200 now. 200 kills. 200 kills losing only 4 men. That's fantastic. Okay. Longbow hunters still alive here. They could probably help out and and really do some damage to these, these guys over here. This is all they have left. Looks like they are going to maybe sally out. Or just kind of set up some new formations here. Okay. Celtic giant ballista crew. And they get surrounded by a spear wall. Then we have the Galatian noble horse over here. I don't know how good they're going to do during during melee combat. And their charge bonus is now down to 33. They do have 78 men in it. I don't know... I mean, hopefully the spear wall can handle it, but if not, I mean, the swordmaster is definitely well. This archer up here is still just going to chill out up here. Looks like they are starting to open fire onto the spear noble general. Very nice. Archer up to 68 kills. Starting to shoot at the O-Sworn. So three O-Sworn versus three Lusitani nobles and a swordmaster and a spear wall. And a long hunter. Jeez. Okay. Go, go. Your wall. Gonna catch that noble horse, the general. Swordmaster is gonna be following close suit. He's down to 50, 155. Though he's lost five men, it's 211 kills. That's pretty good numbers if you ask me. He's active, but he probably has the, the refresh ability. That's usually what everybody goes for. It's a very good ability. If you guys are ever wondering what abilities you guys should bring as with a general, I don't know if anyone's ever told you which ones are the best ones, but my my personal favorite is the second wind ability because that'll refresh your troops, and so it just it just makes them like a brand new troop that's just fresh, ready for combat. It's just the best. Like, see how these guys are winded? Their combat effectiveness goes way down when that happens. So, the second wind is my favorite, personal favorite. And also, gets you get a battle rhythm as well. And then you pop that on a troop. That'll make them fight better and, and, and whatnot. So, yeah. The, the strategist, I believe it is. The strategist general. I think it's the far left general ability one. Is what I recommend. 
if anyone's if anyone's ever wondered that there you go that piece of knowledge for you this guy's down to 200 or 154 236 kills that's just ugh. that's just crazy that's crazy talk there's a tony nobles getting into the thick of it now going against two o sworn and then this o sworn over here is going to hold the line against these sword masters here triple gold chevron sword masters mind you Oof, just barely missing that volley of fireballs. He's already up to 250 now. 255, very nice. Two minutes left in this fight. Oh, Blair Slinger's getting around the flanks of these Osworn right in the backs. Now they're going to shoot them right in the backs. Oh, that's not two, that's not two Osworn. It's a Spear Noble and an Osworn. Okay. I thought it was too old swear. Wow. This Blair Slinger is up to 116. Blue Stony Noble, 340 kills. It's starting to waver now, though. They did pop a rally, but it was not enough to keep it in the fight. The morale, bo the morale bonus rally. It's also another good... Uh, another good... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A general ability. Because it will help you keep your troops into the fight. Which is always a good thing. But uh, sometimes it doesn't work. Like you just saw. That they just couldn't stay in the fight anymore. And so they just left. So that's why I always say like second wind is always a good one to bring. Because these guys are very tired over here. These guys are just winded. They're about to get charged by a noble horse though. But the spear wall should help out. Hopefully. These guys are getting shredded right now. By these guys right in the back. 169 now. These guys starting to waver. That's a huge, huge thing. These guys up to 303 kills on Osworn, but down to 93, man. That's that's big. But if they can get to these guys over here, that's it's gonna be big. No! Spear Nobles, if they can kill this general, that would really hurt the morale for the remaining the remaining troops. Oh, the Longbow Hunters are back. Okay, these guys these guys still have ammo. Oh, they still have ammo. Ooh, those guys moved right at the last second. Okay, they're going to shoot these Osworn now. And now the Slingers. Oh, look at that. 200. The, the Slingers for Lusitani have just done so much work. They've gotten so many kills. Four seconds left. Oh, they broke through. They broke through. Oh, that's GG's right there. That's GG's. Yeah. Oh, Swan right there. There it goes. Starting to waver. It's exhausted. There it is. GG's. Great battle. Last unit is over here. The crew is now gone. Wow. What a battle. That was cool. That was really cool. Look at that. Coochie Destroyer getting 1,940 kills. Incredible. Incredible. That was with Club Levy Spam. Club Levy Spam. Look at all the gold chevron. That's a lot of gold chevrons. Great kills with his archers, though. Good kills with his Swordmaster General at the end. Helping turn that fight around. Look at those Club Levies. Jeez. 112, 104, 107, 98. Look at that spear wall, 124. Good stuff. Let's go to J Man 5, getting 3,052 kills. Turning the battle around. 318 with the Lusitanian General. 116 for the Cav. Look at the kills on his slingers. That's just, that's crazy stuff right there. That's amazing. Amazing. Look at that. Okay. I bring Slinger or Arbian Swordsman. Good stuff. Tony Nobles, 340, 1, 3, 41, 32. Curry Spearman, 60 and 31. Then Invention Shield Warriors, not too shabby there. Good stuff. Let's go to Blue Dolphin or Doof, Doof, Dolphin Lena. Blue Dolphina. There you go. 2,581. The most for the attackers. Not too shabby. I mean, nice kills on everything here. Archers, decent kills. Glacial Legionaries, though, just um, so many of them. 
so many of them. So many kills, though, too. Jeez, good job there. Good job. Then let's go to No Hacks, Just Better. Getting 2,127. This wasn't quite enough to get that W for him. But, you know, he tried. Definitely getting some good kills. Like, everybody in this battle, great job. You guys all did fantastic. That was a super close battle. Pyrrhic victory clearly shows it's a it's a close battle. And at the end, there was only, like, what, like four units left? So, that's great stuff. But, yeah, everybody really just pulling their way here. 166. Oh, sworn. So many. Oh, sworn. Good God. There must have been ultra funds. I, I gotta say, must have been ultra funds. But yeah, wow, that was a fun battle. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I, I really enjoyed that one. Again, thank you so much for sending in this battle, Jim Benton. I appreciate it. And if anybody else wants to send one in, check out my Discord. Send it in. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm Bader Warman, and I'll catch you in the next one. All right, peace. Yeah.